Okay, I'm gonna start getting this ready. I got my bees today. I went in at 5.30 this morning. I don't know if you can hear me, but I went in town today at, uh, well, I got up at 5.30 and I was in, the, in town by six o'clock to get my bees um, because uh, they were delivering them. I just bought one package and I'm gonna put the one package in here. <clears throat> I love, I've decided I love these horizontals. I've not used them yet. I've not had any bees in them yet, but boy, just, just knowing how it's gonna work really excites me. I can see how the horizontal hive is gonna be a huge benefit to the bees and probably as well to us um, because we don't have to operate, we don't have to work them so much. So we'll be leaving the bees alone a lot more. Uh, we won't be disturbing them. And um, they'll have a whole lot more space to be able to expand to. So I'm really excited about that part. I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is put the, high, the, the, the frames in this end since the sun is on this end. So it'll kind of keep it warm because we're still having some really cold weather here in the Texas Panhandle. So uh, in fact, it was 30, 34 I think on the car this morning when I was going in 34 degrees and I thought oh my goodness I'm getting bees and it's 34 degrees outside but it worked out um, so anyway I'm gonna wait until it warms up a little bit today that's why I opened the hive up a little bit so that it can warm up the sun's feeling awesome still a pretty cool breeze blowing by but the sun feels really good so I'll let it warm up the hive a little bit. This is an insulated hive, and so it, um, it'll it be a whole lot better once I get a little warmth in there, because I don't want to put the bees in a really cold environment right off the bat. So I'm hoping that will work. I'm gonna go ahead and take you over here, and I'm gonna show you kind of what I set up to catch a swarm. I was kind of hoping I would have already caught a swarm by now, but. Uh, it's just been so cold when I set this thing out. It was like 80 degrees And so I thought wow, this will be nice. I'll go ahead and set this up Maybe I can get a swarm here pretty soon. But here's my little swarm box I set it up in this tree. This is an ash tree a green ash tree and I set it up to where I closed the opening to where it's just barely big enough for the bees to get in because I didn't want mice or anything like that getting in and so uh, That's what we've done I'm hoping we'll get a swarm of bees here pretty soon. I, uh, if I do get a swarm, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the box, but I will separate them with my divider. And theoretically, we'll see how that works. It's supposed to keep them apart where they don't kill each other. So we'll see how that works. But it's supposed to get down to, let's see, today's Sunday. And I think Monday morning, uh, I'm sorry, not Monday morning, but yes when the sun starts coming up on monday morning i think it's supposed to be like 26 25 degrees something like that so i just you know i'm putting these bees in the hive and i'm just praying to god that uh they don't keel over uh being so cold because you know a package is not all that many bees and so there's not that's why i'm gonna narrow this down i think i'm only gonna give them I think I'm only going to give them like three frames on this side because I think with three fr frames, uh, maybe four, and that'll make it about this wide. And then that way they can, they'll have these insulated sides. They'll have the sun here on this edge, um, kind of keeping it warm during the day if I'll get out of it and quit creating the shade. And uh, anyway, I, I, I believe that'll probably be very good. I'm hoping. We shall see. I will certainly let you know how that turns out. And again, oh, forgot we just got out of church. I've still got my little church tag on. Uh, but anyway, um, I'll show you kind of what happens and, and, and keep you abreast of how it works. Uh, like I said, I'm a little worried about the cold weather coming. Um, but shortly after that, it's supposed to warm up. So I'm hoping they can make one or two because I think there's two nights in a row it's going to be down in the 26s, 27s, 25, somewhere in there. Um, boy, I really hate putting a new, a new package of bees in, but 
what can you do i can't keep them in the house i've got to get them in here also i'm going to give them i've got i've got some honey i've got a bunch of honey left over from previous and i'm that's what i'm going to feed them with i don't like feeding my bees sugar water it's just so unnatural and so i'm trying to do my very best to raise these bees totally natural so i'm going to give them back honey so that they can feed they're sitting in their little box right now and uh, I'm sure they're ready to get a little more space. So I'm gonna let them out in here and guess what else I did? Dummy me, I, uh, when we moved out here back in whenever it was, August or whenever, we packed everything up. And of course I packed my bee suit up. So I don't have a bee suit and I'm a big chicken. I don't like getting stung. I mean, I do not like getting stung. Although I've been stung a thousand times probably in the last three years. But um, I don't know what I did with it. I know I put it up somewhere. And it's probably in our daughter's barn out south of town. And there's a lot of stuff in there. A lot of boxes. And I'm thinking, I'm going to have to have a bee suit. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and put this package in without a bee suit. So, <laughs> wish me luck. Pray for me. That'll even be better. Because I don't like getting stung. So I'm hoping these bees will be their carnolian or carnololian or whatever they call that. And so they're supposed to be real docile. But, you know, I mean, you get stung by almost any of them. So anyway, I'm going to leave this here for a bit. I'll be back with you. I'm just warming it up right now, letting the sun get on it for about a couple more hours. I want it all to warm up really nicely in there. And in addition to that, I've taken out these frames. I'm going to have to put some um, wax foundation. I'm not going to fill it with wax foundation, but I'm going to put some in there as kind of a starter uh, because I like to have a starter so they don't start building their comb every which way. So anyway, I'll get back with you as soon as we get ready to put the bees in. Okay, so what I'm doing here, what I've done here, um, I, sorry I didn't get done here, but I've taken some of my... Uh, beeswax uh, foundations and I have melted them into the wires on my Layens hives to just give a little starter for the bees so when they get ready to start building their comb they'll build it straight across instead of going every which direction you you kind of have to do that I don't know that you have to but I've heard it being done a number of times and so I thought well if those smart people are doing it, hey, why shouldn't I do it? So anyway, I'm about to put my frames in, in the beehive. So we'll have those in there and ready to go. I've, uh, I've melted uh, about five of them, six, seven of them. I'm only going to put four, I think, on this side. I think that'll be plenty big for this package of bees. Four of these frames for now and if i decide i need i can expand it so you've got this divider board here and it's got the little clips there at the bottom where you it keeps it up off of the bottom so that if the bees need to go through there they can if they decide they want to so anyway anyway that's where we're at right now so i'm about to this is kind of warmed up in here, so I'm probably going to go ahead and put the bees in shortly. And as you can tell, there's fear. There is fear in my eyes. There's fear in my heart. Because I don't want to get stung. I hate getting stung. So actually, what I'm trying to figure out now is how am I going to put them in there and not get stung? Um... And maybe they won't. They're pretty... Most of the time bees are pretty calm. Most of these kind are. There's our little bees. Well, they're pretty active up here, aren't they? I'm glad for that. I'm sure they're keeping the queen nice and warm. Nice and cozy. So anyway, we'll... Uh, we'll go put those girls in here shortly. I'll tell you what else I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up the hive with my little trusty, this thing, 
just warm the hive up a little bit get knock that cold from the night off of it and then I think I can go ahead and put them in I'm not getting in a big hurry to put them in but still I just like to get them in there where they've got some room and they're not um, so crowded and I can feed them I've got to start feeding them because they have I'm sure their little sugar water thing they put in there is out so anyway I'm gonna heat this up a little bit whether it'll do any good or not I don't know but I'm gonna heat the side walls and get the side walls warmer get the bottom warmer and uh, we'll see how that works out should be good move that and get it inside there it'll be nice and cozy and yes I do know they create their own heat I understand that but I'm just going to warm it up because it's so stinking cold from last night. I, I'd really like for this package to live. I've lost so many bees in our winters here. And I'll tell you, this past winter, I didn't have any bees. And I'm thankful that I didn't because, man, it was a cold, cold winter here in the Texas Panhandle. So I'm hoping now that uh, we're about over that other than the next couple of mornings early mornings it's going to be really really icy cold but fortunately the daytime temperatures are going to be in the 70s so i think the bees will be fine yeah. okay i think that's pretty much it for the heat gun i'm going to go get the bees bring them over here let's see what happens put this baby up I'll let it cool off a little bit first and I'll put it up <clears throat> let's get the bees I don't know if y'all can hear them on the camera they're buzzing about pretty good so hopefully they're a good strong really good strong package when I open this up, you know what they do. They go all over the place. They won't go very far, but they will come out. And what I'm hoping is that I can... I don't know if this will set down in there. No, it will not. It'll sit on top. Hmm, that doesn't do me any good. What I might do is take out all these frames on the other side on the side I'm not going to use take out all the frames and set that down in there and let them out now the queen is going to be up in the, her little queen box that they've got in there which I'm assuming it's in that big huge cluster here so anyway alright that's what I'm going to do Y'all see me running and screaming like a girl. If I get stung, you know that, don't you? So be prepared. So let's take out some of these frames. Make a little room. What do you say? Try not to disturb them too much. I'll tell you, this has got to be traumatic for these poor old bees. Whenever you go and move them halfway across the country. And I wasn't going to buy bees. Um, because the Carnolian and the Italians, they're uh, kind of a more of a warm weather bee. I know they can survive winters, but uh, they're not quite as hardy. I was actually looking for some Russians. And I did actually find some Russians somewhere online. I can't even remember now, but they were out. So I guess I didn't find them, did I? Uh, but anyway, I did find where there were some Russians, supposedly. So uh, anyway, this is... I think I'll go ahead and open up their little opening here. So that they will be able to move. I've got it pretty tight, so I guess I'll have to... Go get a screwdriver. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. 
so I'll loosen up this entry so they I can turn it Ooh, I did have that tight didn't I yes I did let's see if I can now turn it here we go that ought to be enough in fact I don't want it real wide perfect see how easy that was all right now I think what I'm gonna do is put the bees in the box like so now y'all are all upside down sorry had to do that if for those of you who haven't ever seen a package of bees this is what they call a package of bees this is a uh, sugar water container it's just a tin can this right here is what they have the queen in her little bitty queen box uh, they've got it up here so it's up close to the top here and all of course that's where the bulk of the bees are i think y'all saw that uh, that's where the bulk of the bees are because they stay up there and they take care of the queen so i just want to make sure and when i open this up i think what i'm going to do oh i am that is such a good idea i just came up with a brilliant idea what I think I'm going to do, leave the queen in here for a bit. They've got some frames over here that are kind of started there, as you can see. So I'm thinking what I might do is just take the, the feeder out, the feeder can, release the bees in here, put the cap on, put the top on the top of the horizontal hive. Um, you know I'm doing this because I don't want to get stung, right? You know that. Because I'm not excited about getting stung, and I don't know how upset these bees are. Mm, you know, the only other thing, though. Oh, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Nope. I'm doing it way different. I'm not going to do that. So. Yep. I'll figure it out. Okay, so I put the bees in here. I just actually, I turned the box up on its side and opened, the, took the feeder can out. And so they've got space there to go over into the uh, frames if they choose. The problem with it, I see, is that my frames, I did not put any lemongrass oil uh, or any, um, I didn't put any lemongrass oil and I didn't put any um, oh good grief propolis in there to kind of uh, you know make them want to stay because you got to kind of make it smell like bees so they will stay they don't really care a whole lot for a brand spanking new wooden box that's not their favorite locale so anyway I'm going to do this for a few minutes and then I'm going to do something different. I'm getting buzzed all over my face by bees. They love to come right straight at your face first, which is not much fun when they sting you right between the eyes. And yes, I've had that happen a few times. But anyway, okay, the bees are out. They should be a little bit happier, I think. And I'll probably shake them into the box in a little while. I'm just going to give them a little time to get acclimated. Don't know that that's the right thing to do, but that is what I'm doing. I'm excited about having them in my horizontal hive. And uh, once I get them all in there, everything will be good, I think. I'll, I'll, I'm going to leave the queen in her little cage there for a little while. And uh, then I'll take her out. I'll put her on one of these frames and we'll see how that goes maybe i'll remember to use the camera so i can video that for you so that you'll see what what we do all right i'll talk to you later i went ahead and closed the box up there's a bunch of bees flying around of course some of them are trying to kill me naturally they always a few of them that want to try to kill you if they can um i don't know i think this will work all right uh, they're really not coming in now the entrance well I say that there is there are some coming in out of the entrance there's a few right there as you can see 
just came out of that entrance so they'll kind of find their way around i need to i think i need to put a landing board under them i wish i'd thought of that before i had bees in there i've only had what five months to figure that out and i didn't do it that's kind of silly now there comes some more out of it so i guess it's gonna work i went ahead and closed it up and uh just gonna leave it like that for the time being and they'll kind of get familiar acclimated with their new surroundings and then they'll be happier so see how that goes okay i think i've decided to go ahead and open open it up and drop the rest of the bees in there i don't this doesn't seem to be working comb already built in there. That's crazy. Now I gotta stick my hands in there and hopefully I don't tick off a bee. So that you can do and then they'll sting you and then you're crying like a baby. So we're gonna put the queen mm. well, they are all over me for sure. We're going to put the queen right here. Where she will be comfy, cozy, and well loved, taken care of. Okay, so there's all of those bees. kill you. So I'm trying to keep that from happening. Even though there's like 60 million bees right here around me right now. Now I'm going to put all these frames back in there. And then I'm going to shut it up and let it be what it's supposed to be. Crazy. they figure out where the queen is they'll all go back to that end anyway let's say that's what I'm hoping they will do they'll crawl under because they can still get to the queen from here and uh, you put the top back on that and try to keep from killing a bunch of bees in the meantime and ticking them off that's all I need is to get them mad at me and Time. 
That is never any fun. So I'm going to back away for a minute because I had some of them follow me out here, which is fine. And they're not really bothering me. They're trying to get my face, which I don't like. But, you know, it is what it is. You can see there's a bunch of bees swarming around. I'm hoping they, I'm hoping they figure out their entrance and exit pretty soon. Looks like a few of them are. I, I really should have put a landing board on there. I really regret that I didn't think of that. Mm, don't got one trying to fly in my mouth. Okay, we got the queen in there, so they should all be happy. Put their little feeder thing out here. I'm gonna pour some honey here in a little bit and get rid of that sugar water stuff i don't like sugar water on them but i guess it's better than nothing when they're transporting them i'm gonna put some honey out here for them though and give them something to eat so anyway there you have it a package of bees installed in a horizontal hive and praise the lord i didn't get a single sting thank you jesus Looks like we've got, looks like the bees are enjoying their new home. Looks like they're getting in there pretty well. Coming in and out seem pretty happy, so that's a good thing. Okay, so I am, I've got the bees in there and they've kind of settled down somewhat. And so I'm going to. I'm going to take the lid off of this uh, hive so that you can see what it looks like with a whole package of bees in there. It's kind of amazing and that's one of the reasons I switched to the Layens hive. So I think you'll understand when you see it. So, look here, you don't see millions of bees right up here on top, so that when we're ready to take out, you can see I've got my queen still hanging there, but you can't even see the bees, they can't see me, they don't know I'm messing with their hive, and so it's pretty awesome, actually. This is my divider board, I've got that in there, I've only put in four frames with one package of bees because it's, well, they don't need all that room and we're going to get some cold nights so I wanted to make sure they had room to stay warm uh, just enough to do well so but you can see I don't have to desert, disturb my bees now when I move this and we start growing the hive starts growing I'll move it down <clears throat> and we'll have more frames in there and when we have more frames in there at that point when I'm let's just say I'm collecting honey they generally put their honey on the outside of where they are. They'll put their brood probably right in here and they'll put their honey, they may put their brood here and then have honey on these. But either way, it's gonna be on the outside. So you can just basically take these frames out without disturbing the entire hive. It's phenomenal, I love it. Thinking about letting the queen out, I don't know if I ought to wait till tomorrow give her another day in here because this is all fresh wood I mean it's all fresh and I'm just thinking if I let her out now I don't want her flying away so I'm trying to get them to start building up a little comb this is what's amazing to me this package I don't know if you can see this but I'm gonna show you this package they built this comb in the short time they were in this package and to arrive here via transport and look at the honey already in that that's just a short time that they were in their package how quickly they do this stuff it's just amazing to me it's what i love about bees they just surprise me every time so anyway i'm going to put that there because i'm letting them feed on that and 
get some of that honey back out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top back on. I love the lands hive. You see, I put the top on. I don't worry about killing a bunch of bees when I put it back on and squish anybody because nobody's there. I love it. So anyway, this is why I switched to layings, horizontal layings. Um, anyway, I hope this helps you guys some. Just want to say though, thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like what you see, I, I do wish that you would subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, if you don't mind, ding the little bell there. Click the little bell and that'll let you know when we put our next one on. I don't put a lot of videos on. Number one, because it takes a lot of time to edit these things. And I don't have a whole lot of time. So anyway, but we do hope you'll subscribe and, and like our videos. So it sure does help us a lot. So thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you and hope to see you sometime soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.